Uh, let's call this meeting to order at 7.02 p.m. Uh, we're going to start with the salute to the flag. I'd like to ask all the scouts to come up and do the Pledge of Allegiance with us. You come up to the front, right over here. Closer. We'll follow your lead, whatever you're ready. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join me in a moment of silent reflection. Thank you. Sunshine Law Notice. In accordance with the provisions of the Open Public Meetings Act, public meetings may be held in person or by means of communication equipment to include streaming services and other online meeting platforms. This meeting is being held in person through the Zoom meeting platform, being broadcast from Borough Hall, 748 River Road, Fairhaven, New Jersey. Public participation for this regular council meeting of December 19th, 2022 is available by call and phone number or through web conference Zoom. Members of the public will be on mute until it is time for questions or comments, which will be announced. At that time, the public has the opportunity to question comment by phone or through Zoom by the raise hand button and will be called on at the appropriate time. Notice of this meeting was included in a schedule of meetings, which was adopted by resolution number 2022-13 and sent to the Asbury Park Press, the Two River Times, the Hub, and the Star Ledger on January 6, 2022, posted on the borough website, the bulletin board in the municipal building, and has remained continuously posted as required in the statute. With adequate notice having been given, the borough clerk is directed to include this statement in the minutes of this meeting. Allison, may I please have a roll call? Council Member Kushner, here. Cole, here. Bosch, here. McHugh, here. Neff, Rodriguez. Here. Okay, we're actually going to start off here. We have a uh, resolution acknowledging December 6, 2022, is Ferryman's 100th scouting anniversary day. Borough Council President Rodriguez is going to join me in front. I'd like to ask all the scouts to come up once again, please. So this resolution says, between the poles here, <laughs> whereas on December 6, 1922, our first scout troop was originally organized in Ferryman by Dr. E.F. Stewart and Alfred Marcellus under the Boy Scouts of America, which was formed as part of the scouting movement all across America and the world. And whereas, beginning with its incorporation on February 8, 1910, the mission of the Boy Scouts of America has been to prepare young people, both boys and girls, to make ethical and moral choices over their lifetimes by instilling in them the values of the scout oath and law and motto, which among other things states the pledge to do duty to our country and to help other people at all times, and to always be prepared. And whereas the success of local scouting has been a culmination of many hours of selfless volunteerism by many leaders and community organizations across many generations, whose ideas and generosity help shape help shape the lives of many youth. And whereas there are currently scores of Cubs and Scouts currently enrolled with multiple scouting units uh, in the Fairhaven, and whereas thousands upon thousands of service hours have been attributed by Scouts, leaders, family members, and scouting volunteers to the Fairhaven community and its residents. And whereas the Fairhaven units of the Boy Scouts of America and its core of dedicated volunteer leaders are providing necessary support to the leaders in the Cub Scout pack and scouts BSA troops, all recognizing the contributions of other scouting organizations, including the Explorer Units and Girl Scouts of the USA, which all share values and goals. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the mayor and council of the borough of Fairhaven in the county of Monmouth, state of New Jersey, acknowledge that December 6, 2022, was Fairhaven Scouting's 100th anniversary day and encourages all citizens to join in congratulating the many volunteer leaders, parents, church and community organizations who have generously allowed bringing this values-based program to our young people for the past hundred years and many more to come. My only words in reading this is you really, 
realize from a historical standpoint that you're part of something that's much bigger and it's gone for many generations. And uh, you should be very proud of the commitment that you've made. And that being said, I'm going to pass it on to Borough Council President, President Rodriguez, who I know is uh, fully, fully integrated in, in everything that you do, and he's got a few words to share with us. So I'd like to um, I'd like to thank you all for showing up today to commemorate the 100th anniversary of scouting in Fairhaven. Um, it is a as the mayor said, it's been generations, and there have been many scouts and many uh, leaders and many parents and volunteers who've made this possible. You're the next generation of scouting. You'll have life lessons that you'll bring uh, with you throughout your life that you'll learn here in scouts. Um, you'll carry on the tradition of volunteerism. Um, the Fairhaven, Fairhaven holds uh, near and dear um, things like the Fairhaven uh, Natural Area Cleanup Day and things like uh, cleaning up after the Fireman's Fair. Um, there's just countless of opportunities, <coughs> countless opportunities that you have um, to get involved and, and stay involved. So I wish you all the best on your scouting journey, and I uh, congratulate you on the 100th anniversary. Uh, moving along, uh, moving to proclamations. Uh, we're here to honor um, two very dedicated uh, council persons, council people, council people, mm -hmm. in uh, Councilman Mike McHugh and Councilwoman Meg Chris McKeith. Um, you know, not everyone realizes how much time goes into this job. And uh, the opportunity for me to, and I think I speak for all the council people up here, to work with both of you, um, I just want to say thank you and tell you how much I appreciated all the time we spent together. Um, I appreciate our friendship that's developed over time. And, uh, you know, I'd like to present both of you with these proclamations. Um, I'd like to read them if that's okay. Uh, for... Councilman Michael McHugh, uh, whereas Michael McHugh was sworn into office on January 1st, 2020 as a councilman, and whereas two months into his term, the COVID-19 pandemic began, the pandemic forced the governing body to change many policies and procedures the borough used to operate while continuing services to its residents, and whereas Councilman McHugh has been a vital part of the community, offering his time and talent as a member of the borough council, and whereas during his tenure on council, Councilman McHugh has served as chairperson to police fire and office of emergency management, as well as the engineering and public works and borough facilities. Whereas the borough ferryman governing body, borough staff, boards and commissions and volunteers will miss the logic, wisdom and invaluable experience Michael McHugh has contributed to everything he has been involved with. And whereas very few people realize that a tremendous imposition serving on council is to one's personal life. And now therefore be it resolved by the borough council, the borough ferryman, that extends its deep appreciation and gratitude to Councilman McHugh for his selfless public service to help make Fairhaven a great place to live and wishes him and his family many years of health and happiness. Councilwoman Crystal Keith, whereas Megan Kristen Keith was sworn into office on January 1st, 2020, as a councilwoman. And whereas two months into her term, the COVID 19 pandemic began, the pandemic forced the governing body to change many policies and procedures the borough used to operate while continuing services to its residents. And whereas councilwoman Kristen Keith has been a vital part of the community, offering her time and talent as a member of the borough council. And whereas, <clears throat> excuse me, and whereas during her tenure on council, Councilwoman Kristen Keith has served as chairperson of personnel and borough communications and community outreach, as well as parks and recreation. And whereas the borough ferryman, governing body, borough staff, boards and commissions, 
and volunteers will miss the logic, wisdom, and invaluable experience Megan Christner Keith has contributed to everything she has been, been involved with. And whereas very few people realize what a tremendous imposition serving on council is to one's personal life. And now, therefore, be it resolved by the Borough Council, the Borough Fairhaven, that extends its deep appreciation and gratitude to Councilwoman Christner Keith for her selfless public service to help make Fairhaven a great place to live and wishes her and her family many years of health and happiness. <laughs> Workshop session, street opening approval request, borough moratorium for 31 Heights Terrace, guest service retirement. Uh, does anyone have any comments, questions on this? Nick Portman's being reviewed it. didn't have an issue. It's going to be behind the curve. Does anyone have a motion to approve? Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Thank you. Uh, special meeting in January 2023. Uh, the thought was to hold a special meeting on January 9th for police interviews. Uh, do they have any comments here? No, it's not available yet. Okay. Okay. Are you available? You January motion? Yeah, I'll be around. Someone want to make a motion? Motion. Second. Do I need a roll call there, Alison? All, in favor. All, All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Okay. Uh, next, we're going to move along to public comment on agenda items. Please stand and identify yourself by clearly stating your name and address for the record. Please observe a time limit of three minutes. This is only for agenda items, please. Is there anyone in the public that has a comment on an agenda item? Allison, anyone online? Nobody has their hand. We have 11 attendees, but there's no hands raised. Okay, uh, moving along, may I have a motion to approve the November 28th regular and executive session minutes? Motion. Second. Allison, may I please have a roll call? Councilmember Krishna Keith? Yes. Cole? Yes. Koch? Yes. Thank you? Yes. Arminius? Yes. Thank you. Uh, old business, hearing and adoption of ordinance number 2022-18, amend the borough fee ordinance. Uh, do I have a motion to open the hearing to the public? Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Anyone opposed? <coughs> Is there anyone in the public that has a comment on the borough fee ordinance? Allison, is there anyone online? No. There was a call that was received by Mrs. Blazer regarding building fees, but we were waiting on Russ and we were doing some review with new laws. And that will be the beginning of next year. Okay. Do I have a motion to close the hearing to the public? Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Uh, may I have a motion to adopt ordinance number 2022-18? Motion. Mo Second. Allison, may I please have a roll call? Councilmember Chris Marquis? Yes. Paul? Yes. Koch? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Frederick? Yes. Okay. Uh, moving along to new business. We will start with finance, followed by borough facilities. Councilman Rodriguez. Thank you. Um, we recently had a, um, a finance committee rescheduled uh, as a result of um, uh, Councilwoman Neff's absence. Um, we'll, we'll not be meeting before the end of the year. We will pick this up in the new year. Thank you. Anything on uh, borough facilities? Um, I would say uh, the same is true for facilities, other than we've gotten um, some correspondence back and forth from the owner's rep. They continue to do some work um, in terms of estimating for the DPW um, as they've been directed to do by this council. Thank you, Councilman Rodriguez. Uh, personnel, Councilman Chris McKee. Um, personnel, um, the borough staff had a holiday party which I heard was lovely. And um, that is all from personnel. Thank you, Councilwoman. Uh, planning and zoning and parks and recreation, Councilwoman Koch. Thank you, Mayor. Um, uh, the next uh, meetings in January for both the planning board and the zoning board will be reorganization meetings with the appointments of new members to both boards. The zoning board will meet on January 12th and the planning board will meet on January 17th. And in terms of parks and recreation, 
Um, uh, the menorah lighting was on Sunday and it was very well attended. And tomorrow the addresses should be released through the borough for the homes that have been nominated for the holiday decorating contest. Thank you, Council McCotch. Uh, moving along to police, fire, and office emergency management, followed, followed by engineering and DPW, Councilman McHugh. Uh, just one note on the new hire that is scheduled to take place. Um, not sure if the best and brightest. Uh, engineering DPW, nothing to uh, announce. Thank you, Councilman McHugh. Moving along to Borough Communications and Community Outreach, Councilman McCall. Thank you, Mayor. Um, outreach and communications did not meet in December. The next up update will be in January. We will continue our discussions regarding policies and relates to use of our communication platforms. We'll also use the most recent um, road construction work on Hanson Cooney to um, examine what went well and what we can improve upon as a way to um, look for clearer, streamlined, and more efficient communication for the residents. Um, the Environmental Commission, Green Team, Shade Tree Commission all um, are perfecting their uh, end reports and plans for 2023. And um, big news, kids, that distinctive toys will be expanding. So that's the news from the business district, which also hosted their um, holiday stroll, which is, of course, a wonderful tradition and we look forward to this year, including a horse and buggy ride. It's a great night. That's the report, sir. Thank you. Uh, moving along to the consent agenda, we're discussing resolutions 2022-240 through 247. Uh, before <laughs> I ask for a motion, does anyone want to separate anything from the consent agenda or have any questions? On it? Uh, do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Allison, may I please have a roll call? Council Members Krishna Heath? Yes. Cole? Yes. Patch? Yes. Thank you. Uh, yes, except for 244. I don't know. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Department reports November 2022. Motion to accept the reports as submitted. Anyone? Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? A good of the borough. Please stand and identify yourself by clearly stating your name and address for the record. Please try to observe a time limit of three minutes. Is there anyone in the public? Thank you, Marty. I'm going to break hands road Fairhaven. Uh, so I do live on hands and a number of neighbors you know, didn't get a lot of advance notice about the work on hands. And um, I just wanted to say thank you to our chief of police who jumped in and really helped out the residents. Having all that done at the week before Christmas is proving a little bit difficult, but uh, he's really he's had a police officer stationed there, made sure all the residents have access. So I just wanted to really thank the uh, police department here in Fairhaven and special thanks to our chief. Thank you. Anyone else in the public have a uh, go to the borough comment? I have one, Mayor. I would just like to thank the current governing body and the past bodies I've worked with, all of our borough staff, Teresa, Allison, uh, Council President Rodriguez, Councilman Mayor, Fairhaven residents, our voters and supporters, my family and friends, most of all my husband, who put up with hours and hours and hours. <laughs> I'm really proud of what I've accomplished with all the governing bodies. And while there's still a lot of work to be done, I'm sure that I will continue to be part of it in some ways. So this has been a great opportunity. I'm sad that it's over, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else in the public? Go to the borough. I have Susan O'Brien. Yeah, let's bring her in, please. Good evening. Hi, Can Susan. you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Um, I've lived through a lot of power outages, blackouts, and I think one brownout in the past. 
the last week was a new experience where I had both a blackout and a brownout in my house. So what does the power company have to say about last week? As far, is the question as far as what led to the yes, please. loss of power? Yes. Uh, get the official word from them that it was weather related and what was the, uh, how many uh, outages they had in Monmouth County? I think they emailed us. It was um, thousands. Thousands, uh, I think 720 in Fairfield. And, and, a, right. and a major transformer blow because I go home when the lights went out and traffic lights went out and I called the police department in Middleton. And they said there was a major transformer in Seagrave that for some reason was affecting odd places within Mountain County. Right. I think the brown up at the same time was related to the restoration. They wanted to dampen the load as they restore it. Chief, did you have any additional information on that? Other than when they had the power outage, they redirected and that caused the brownout. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe most of them got gone fairly quick. I'm not sure how home speed was out, but I think within a few hours, everything was pretty much back on. There could have been, when I looked a few hours later, it said like three houses, I believe, two vessels out there. And after we talked that night, it said three sites. Right. I think 1 a.m. is when the majority was restored. Yeah, whatever it was, was yeah. they said three was out later than that. Yeah, Susan, I mean, I'd be happy to reach out to, you know, our, our municipal liaison for the specific spot of the transformer that, that went or, you know, the tree that fell down, but that was strictly a weather rela related issue. And it, no, it, no, it no, no, I, I, I understand that it was weather related, but I found it most unusual that half my house was in a brownout and half my house was in a blackout all at the same time. It was, I would agree with you that it was a, it was definitely a different type of outage than we usually, um, usually have my <clears throat> speaking personally. I mean, my garage doors didn't go up because they were getting just enough power that the battery backup didn't kick in. Um, but it wasn't enough power that the garage door would open. So yeah. I, I've never experienced that before myself. Um, that was that was an interesting night, but uh, I, I can I can provide more information to you if if, uh, if you have any specific questions you want me to get them answered. Just let me know by email and I'll. Yeah, I, I I was just curious because it was such an odd situation, and uh, you know we've had our share of uh, power outages, but uh, the combination was odd. I agree. Thank you, Susan. No one else? Um, well, Mike, did you want to make any comments? Um, yeah, sure. Thanks, okay. Council President. I too want to just thank the residents of Fair Haven for their trust in uh, electing myself and Maggie, you've been a great running partner um, through it all. Um, I think it's been great, you know, between. Everyone who sat here worked across the aisle with everyone. Um, and uh, you start to realize politics doesn't matter that much, right? People want their roads paved. We need to be democratic with the lowercase d. We need to listen to the residents. And, um, you know, we are their champions. We need to do what's best for them and keep everybody's uh, interest in mind. Um, I think we've done that. Um, you know, I'm proud of creating a green team. I think it's got a legacy that will last when I'm gone. Um, working with Chief through COVID, uh, we got to know each other really well. I have the utmost respect for our first responders. Um, there were times in the beginning when we weren't sure if our volunteers were going to pick people up. Um, it was that scary. We didn't know, you know what was going to happen. Um, but our volunteers did, even though insurance questions were mined, um, you know, getting sick on the job, it was all very scary. The utmost respect for our chief who had the heads up to secure masks when other towns were struggling to find them. Um, we were able to do uh, training for our first responders and have to properly wear the N95s, everything. Um, and uh, new council, <laughs> just happy that you guys could come in at a regular time. 
if you're going to do the, the Marchese meeting at the school, which would be great. My advice would be get your kids involved as much as possible. Um, I would say that they were um, relieved that this is the last time Daddy was going to run out for you know missing dinner, um, you know missing bedtimes, all that stuff. So looking forward to getting back to that. But it's been an honor. I thank you. All. Good luck. Mayor, we have two hands up just raised. Thank you, Councilman. Thank you. Stephanie Adams. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, hi, Stephanie Adams, 230 Oxford. Um, I did want to um, thank Mike and Meg for their service, um, especially Mike uh, working with the green team. It was a pleasure and we really appreciate everything that he uh, worked with us on and uh, all the extra time. I also just wanted to ask on the um, RFP for Bicentennial Hall, it says Mark Cronin, is that Matthew Cronin? I wasn't yeah. sure if that was a typo. Matthew. Yeah. That's Matthew Cronin. Perfect. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Happy holidays. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you too. Mrs. Blazer. Hi, Ruth. Jean? Allison? Her hand's raised. Ruth, sure can you hear us? Yes, I thought I had unmuted. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I'd like to also thank Meg and Mike for their service on the council. It's not an easy job, but I have one request of the entire administration. Remember that Fairhaven is a small town. Step back and look at it from all angles. Um, I would particularly like you to <laughs> encourage the zoning and planning boards to have Zoom meetings, because what they do is vital to where we are in Fairhaven, how close your neighbors are to each other, what they don't do on borough regulations, such as brushing leaves and things like that. But step back and say, what are we doing for the residents for the money that they are paying in taxes? What are we giving them? What can we give them? And my one thing was, I brought this up a couple of months back, was the mulch and stuff that we grind, put it out. It used to be put out for the uh, residents to come and take. And I think that's a really good thing. But look for more things that the town can with little or no cost provide for its residents for their tax money. I wish you all a very pleasant holiday season. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you, Ruth. Allison is in the roll center. Uh, Absolutely. Um, don't need to get the last word here. I just wanted to echo um, what the mayor had said um, in the proclamation for both uh, Meg and Mike, um, and also what we've heard um, on the call here. I, you know, it was an honor to work with both of you, to serve with you, and um, I'm grateful with the for the chance to have worked in the trenches with you and, and done a lot of things that you guys have already uh, touched on. Um, so from the bottom of my heart, I thank you both. Um, for your service, you've made significant and lasting impacts. Um, I wrote a couple of things down, so I'm going to read them on my screen. Um, you know, sp specifically um, under your uh, leadership, we put this OWL and the Zoom um, capability in place through some tr pretty trying times, and we've kept it um, and we've perpetuated, and I think that's really important. I know you guys have um, also supported the screens that are in the room here. Um, we've improved communications along with uh, Councilwoman Cole. And we've had uh, Councilwoman Koch working on that in the past, um, even uh, Councilwoman Sorensen, who had originally put the uh, communications uh, committee together. So you guys have taken it to a next level, and I commend you guys for that as well. Um, Mike specifically advocating for our first responders, specifically fire and police. Um, but also uh, Meg for doing the same thing and supporting all of the resources that we had given them just to do the, the bare minimum um, and, and going above and beyond with whatever resources we did give them. 
um, pedestrian safety, cycling safety, um, trying to make the, um, you know, the streets of Fairhaven, uh, you know, the safety was a, a core uh, focus for you guys. So um, something that was near and dear to me. So I'm glad to have worked on that with you. Um, there were a number of fires that we put out along the way, so I don't want to get into all of them. Um, but you've instituted processes like reviewing professionals. And we had gone through every single professional, um, external professional that we, uh, we've hired over the years to uh, make sure that they were the right fit for the community today and going forward. Um, so we've got the right folks in the seats um, and now um, hopefully we'll carry that tradition on um, with the next, next governing body. So I take my hats off or one hat, take one hat off to both of you guys. Um, for serving. It's not easy. I know it's not easy. I sit here um, with you guys and uh, it's a big sacrifice that you've made and your families have made. So um, from the bottom of my heart, again, I, I really appreciate you guys and I'm grateful that you stepped forward and you gave gave it your all and, and you're going to be missed. So thank you. Chris. Uh, before I close the meeting, um, I, I want to say, I know we've said thank you to Mike and Meg. I'll say it again. I want to thank the entire governing body as well. Uh, 2022, I thought was a very successful year. I enjoyed working with everyone. I'd like to thank the borough staff. Um, obviously, uh, everyone that we work with, everyone that represents this town, the countless volunteers, uh, the residents that make this community as special as it really is, because it really is a special place. Everyone plays a part in uh, you know, making this what I always call but I think is the greatest place in the world to live. So thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone. And uh, I wish everyone the happiest of holidays. Happy New Year. Let's make 2023 another banner year. And I look forward to seeing everyone around the community. And with that, I'm gonna to move towards executive session. Formal action will not be taken at 7.34 p.m. Uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Adjournment ego 7 p.m. Wow. Happy, Happy holidays to everybody.